so as it's cross community week, can you just out outline briefly your work that you've done in the local community in the last forty five years? In the last forty five years, we've done a lot of fundraising, a lot of cross community work, and a lot of good community relations work. And um, this year, we're focusing on um, uh, bringing young people together uh, through taking them in a residential to the share centre, and we're looking at. Um, uh, what each of them can say about their own communities, creating a better respect for each other's community, and also looking at our culture and heritage. As well as that, we've encouraged the young people mm -hmm. to get involved, and, and sometimes that's quite hard, because living in an interface area, some of them and their parents have uh, kind of been caught up in the troubles for different things. And, uh, so you've met your fair share of resistance? Yeah, oh yeah, we have, surely. Uh, but... We just keep on. So would you say you've definitely like noticed change from the past to now where cross community ties are much more positive and tighter? They are surely. Um although do you know I always say this and you know, back in the early troubles in nineteen seventy two, to be honest with you, was when we started youth work. Do you know we got a lot of a lot of support from the Catholic community because in those days there was no funder there to hand you money to mm -hmm. do programmes. You had to get out there and get your own money, get your fundraising. And ours mostly consisted of jumble auctions, jumble sales, sponsored walks. And we always had the support of the Catholic community. And any young people that I speak to, to be honest with you, they really do want to move on. They're not interested in the past. They're not interested in all that happened. They really want a genuine future for themselves here in Northern Ireland. So that's very important. A huge peace wall divides the fountain on Bishop Street. What purpose do you think a peace wall like that serves? Well, do you know what? I was so lucky to grow up when that peace wall wasn't even thought on. And it was the old Derry Jail. And Bishop Street was a huge community. And it doesn't ever warrant a peace wall. Never at that time would I have said, gosh, we're going to be separated from this community. But obviously the troubles brought a lot. And to be honest, the young people, I feel, don't honestly know what, what Bishop Street was like before that peace wall. And the, and, the, and the future, the near future, I can't see anything happening to it. I really can't. So do you think the peace wall is so necessary in today's society to of keep course, people safe? Of course it is, because it's not about me standing saying to you about a peace wall. It's about the people who live in Bishop Street on, on either side of the peace wall. And it's them that has to feel the time's right for that peace wall to come down. And until then, really and truly, nobody else has a say in it. Mm -hmm. It's up to those two lots of communities to come together and say, right, OK, we're ready. Do you think establishing positive cross-community relations is prioritised in your youth club? Aye, definitely. It's actually really important, like, because then at the end of the day, like, when the trouble was, like, everyone was just fighting, and now, the more crashing the work's done, everyone sees, like, the past and the behind, and when you're actually at the residential, you just get along, like, like, the like, Protestants against Protestants, but it's just Protestants and Catholic, and you think they're, you, you think they know each other for ages, but it's just, like, three days. Can you think of a time in the future whenever peace walls wouldn't be necessary? I don't really know. No. Alright, thank you. Uh, how important do you think it is to establish firm cross community ties and relations in today's society? I think it's quite important. If it's not there, then it's just fights all the thing. You don't want that. That's not safe, really. And on the larger scale, in terms of government, do you think cross community relations should be prioritised? Well, it could be, like, because I don't think it's as prioritised at the moment, like, so. And do you think there's need for change? Ah, uh, well, there's not enough done for it, like. Could you think of any ways that change could occur? Just make it more, like, do it more often, I think, would be sort of a good thing. Like, we would, we would do it, like, one group every year or so. Uh, in terms of trying to build bridges within the communities, I would let's say it's one of the most important things, especially, especially, in a, especially in a country like this, where it's been so torn up, especially by the troubles. Uh, I think that it's important uh, to bring the communities together 
in order to stop something like that from happening and they minimize sectarianism? Not really, that was about their age ago to stop all the fighting on. There's still stuff being thrown over at them. Do you think currently there's a need for peace walls? And do you feel safer living near the peace wall? I feel a bit safer because if it was open and everyone would just come in to fight them. Can you think of a time in the future where there wouldn't be a need for peace walls, perhaps if cross community ties were established? Hi. It's a tough question. Uh, well, the peace walls, in some ways, does not serve its purpose. I mean, like especially with some of the places, uh, especially some of the places around uh, around facing the bog side, there was a lot of um, I know there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of bottles thrown over that. And so, uh, but and so, it, in some cases, it doesn't really do what it's been made for. But at the same time, it kind of does. Oh, of course they do. It's safety, like it's just your own security. You don't know if it could, they could come down next day. It could be troubles again. So, so you definitely think they prevent violence? Oh, I, they, they do. Like, I love right beside them. And well, my house still got attacked, but it stopped a lot more than what it could have done. Do you feel safer living next oh, to peace wall? Can you think of a time in the future whenever there wouldn't be a need for peace walls? I don't see it, honestly. Growing up in Derry with a large number of friends who live in the fountain. It has always puzzled me why there has been walls separating me and my acquaintances. Many people believe that if the peace walls are torn down, there will be a large, a large scale of violence. I do not believe this. The walls are just calling out to people. They're separating the communities. They're, say, they're say, subliminally saying that it's this us and this is them when we're all supposed to be one community. I definitely think that if the cross-community ties were stronger, there really wouldn't be a need for peace walls anywhere. Because if, 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 one, if one side knows more about the other and the more understanding, there's more of a chance that they'll get along. Yeah. So do you think there's been genuine change from the past? To the uh, and people are getting on a lot uh, more? People are getting on a lot more. Like, but say if there was no peace wall, it's, it's like, say for instance Belfast, if they took theirs down, but mayhem, if they took it down here, we, Man, it serves good because it just keeps everyone right. Do you think it's necessary right now and you feel safer loving uh, it's, the it's still, it still should be up like the other day, like we're Catholics and the Protestant, Protestant and the Catholics, so, so it's good they have it up. <laughs> okay, and do you think like things could change in the future and it could get better? <laughs> Alright, thank you.